Help me. I'm being held hostage by my own free will. Hello. For some reason, if you are new around here, this is a video series where I play every single starting nation in Hearts of Iron 4. It's going great. It's not going great. <laughs> it's not going great at all. <laughs> but if you're new to this channel, we are coming up to 620,000 subscribers, which is pretty cool. Don't think this channel ever hit a million, but I do really want to hit 700k. I think that's a nice number. So if you do want to hit the subscribe button, it really does help. And uh, you get to see more of this series. There are five countries in Central America, six if you count Panama, and all of them make me want to jump out a window. Sorry, four horsemen of the apocalypse? No, my friend. We've got the five horsemen of Central America that will make me go insane. Yep, not been looking forward to this one. And don't worry, if you want to see me suffer, there'll be just the same video over and over again. Now, I'm not using any mods, by the way. There's not a single mod in this game because I wanted to do the first Central American nation as painfully as possible. So, um... Yeah. Got any cool facts about Costa Rica? I don't. Um, it is cursed as possible. Historical AI, you gotta go. So here we go, the magical land of Costa Rica! Where do we start? I'm sure if any subscribers are from Costa Rica, I don't mean to offend you. It's just, you're not exactly relevant in the World War II game. Just... Just a little bit. Hey, we do actually start with two civilians and one military factory, though, so we can get to work immediately actually building guns, which, unlike a few nations I've played so far, hasn't always been the case. Oh, Paradox, please update the default focus tree. I am losing my brains every time I have to go through this dab thing. So I guess we're gonna have to invade the rest of Central America to try and form the, the United States of Central America, or whatever it's called, and that's gonna be fun! But we've also got historical AI off so i don't know if mexico is going to end up invading us later on because they do get a little focus to do that and i don't know what's going to go on the rest of the world but it doesn't matter because i'm costa rica i will say our uh, starting division is a little bit ambitious it costs six thousand manpower and we only have seven thousand manpower so i think we might have to change this off the bat you hear that that's the sound of the war drums. Uh, so my only real goal is to uh, form the formable nation and, of course, to make it to the end of the video. Um, it's going to be tough. You're wondering how I'm spending my time playing the game? It's, it's just like this. Staring. So usually I would have gone fascist for the simple fact you get a lot more population recruitment by going down the fascist path in the default tree, but I just, I, I don't want to. So we're going communist, so... Stalin! We're best friends! I don't know why, but Stanley won't reply to my friend request on Facebook. <laughs> Guys, what's so wrong with Costa Rica? My favorite thing about Costa Rica is the fact that there's a chicken drumstick hanging off it. Look at that. Doesn't that look tasty? I'm losing my damn mind! I just realized that soldiers give off shadows. Look, there's a giant Costa Rican man in the ocean <laughs> with a giant wang! You can tell I'm losing my mind because I just realized that Costa Rica kind of looks like a Mexico that's been shrunk in the wash. Like you got the you got the Rio Grande right here. You got Baja California in the chicken drumstick. Someone called a doctor. I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. Well, we got our communist referendum incredibly quick. And we got a cool new flag <coughs> and a brand new leader. That's the exact same one as before. Oh, how, how do you know how to build nuclear reactors? <laughs> Who taught you that? All right, so first up, we need to start invading. I don't know if we're going to be able to take them. They've got way more troops, way more manpower, but they are a computer-generated program. Whereas I am millions of years of evolutionary prowess. That's right, millions of years of evolution down to this moment. Can Costa Rica take out their neighbor? No. No, they can't. Okay, we're going to have to sit here a while. Please attack my fort. Please. It's a Costa Rican miracle. All right, they've grinded down on me a bit, and now I can push happily. Oh, one down. Three more to go. Damn, do we look cool. I'm going to have to garrison this. I've only just realized we don't have manpower. All right, already got too many factions. There is, there is a lot to unpack here. The Germans are losing against Poland. What's going on in the rest of the world doesn't matter with me, though, as long as they're not invading where I... Oh, my... Really? That's just rude, really? Also, why haven't you bothered inviting me to your cool alliance, Mexico? Yeah, I'm not invited, but South Africa? Greece? Definitely invited! Can someone get me the number of the UN War Crimes Committee? Because this peace deal that Germany just did... 
is a war crime. I mean, there's a lot to unpack here, but all you really need to know is that Czechoslovakia has never been better. I didn't think it'd get more cursed until I looked at this map. You haven't missed anything, I invaded Honduras. It was really easy for some reason. Now I need to move on to Guatemala and El Salvador. It's really epic, Evan. El Salvador is never a fun one because they start fascist and therefore just... <laughs> mobilize their entire population into the army. Oh, well, the Soviets are at war with the Germans now. I, I don't know who's gonna win here, but I know for one, in the peace still, my eyeballs are gonna lose. <laughs> why, why do you exist, Colonel Stan? Oh, they're also part of the Allies and Turkey's part of the Axis. I can see a future conflict erupting here. All right, we're all the way up to service by requirement now. We got eight divisions, which is impressive, but we, we need more. Guatemala, please be as easy as Honduras. Oh! They're attacking me. Good star. Oh, well, that makes this incredibly easy. Yeah, them deorging on me is gonna make this a very easy as long as I can get back in. Yeah, look at that. Piece of cake. Just gotta make sure they don't reinforce. They did not reinforce. Epic win confirmed. And then there was one. <laughs> Uh, we have run out of manpower though, we're still on service by requirements, not good. El Salvador does have a few more troops than me and they're a bit more condensed, so I think I'm probably gonna let them invade me a bit. Oh man, we got the best of the best for the military high command here, they all fit my game with my ace generation chance, yep, yeah, yeah, that's good, I don't have an air force, can't afford one, don't have the resource to build one, uh, but uh, don't worry, also got the strap bomb guy, both Great guy! It's alright, I also got the decisive battle guy, because I'll definitely be having a navy. And the commerce raiding guy, because I can also afford- I can't afford a navy! It's alright, we also have the bad weather penalty guy, and the air safety guy. Famously bad weather down here. <laughs> Look, good thing we got the, the bad weather penalty guy, because I don't know how we'd get around these clear skies. DEATH! So yeah, I just pulled out that one tile in the north there, and they just left their capital open. Brave, smart AI. Go, go be free! Again, that was way easier than I thought it would be. We're free though! Well, and with all of Central America defeated, we can click the button! Look at that, we're blue! BLUE! Uh, I was gonna invade Mexico, but they're part of the Allies, so... I don't know what to do now, really. <laughs> Panama time, I guess. Oh, well, now that we have all these cores, we, we have it. We have manpower. Oh, well, both the Axis and the Allies are at war with the Soviets right now, so I don't know what's going to be birthed from this capitulation, but I don't think I'm going to like it too much. Though it is pretty funny seeing France as a puppet of the British invading Spain, which is part of the common turn. Now, America hasn't done anything. I think they went neutrality focus, which means I, I don't have to worry about the Monroe Doctrine and invading Panama, although I feel like they would be a bit annoyed at that IRL. Why are they doing War Plan Ruby? Are you going to invade the Indians? If that means I can take Panama, I love Roosevelt, baby. Only problem with my invasion is that uh, I don't have any boats, so I license them off the Soviets so to uh, get naval supremacy, but I also just don't have boats in general and haven't figured out how to naval invade. Considering Panama doesn't have an army, I'm pretty sure we could just get a rowboat over there, or even just swim! But no, I had to invade naval craft to do that! To just walk into Panama. But will I take Colombia? Now, if I puppeted Colombia, I would get a lot of manpower. So, uh, can I take them with eight divisions? No. Oh, no. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm actually impressed, Afghanistan. I don't even know. What the hell that means? Well, this is just adding to the cursedness. An extra sprinkle of shit. Glad war on Colombia. They made a faction with the Netherlands Antilles, so that's fun. Uh, Colombia looks pretty scary of all their troops, but uh, I've actually already checked. The units are terrible. Are you glad you joined the war? You had no army. All right, big time skip, but uh, we, we went ahead, I've beat the Colombians, I've puppeted them, and if you want to see just how bad their units were, don't worry, I've got a, a, a selection, a selection of a few of them here. They're looking, uh, definitely good. You know what I said, Mexico can get a justification on us? Uh-oh. Wait, 
America still guarantees me. The Roosevelt, you beautiful man. Although you still won't let me in your damn faction. Why? I'm beautiful. Oh my god, the Mexican troops suck as well. I I'm just having a free roll over everyone today. Hold on a second. Was America also at war with Germany? Because they're also now at war with Britain. So this front line's gonna get confusing. We've done it, boys. <laughs> We're scraping the barrel. There can be only one. Probably actually finally make an agency, right? Oh, they capitulated. And because I took pretty much everything, they all capitulated to me. Nice. Oh, the British just capitulated Germany. I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this. I am draining the Colombians of all their manpower, though. Sounds a bit weird when I say that. But it's just a statement of fact. Uh, now, whether the Colombian troops actually make it to Europe, that's gonna be a different question. Oh, well, there goes the Axis. Britain just now owns the entire world, and I'm somehow supposed to deal with that as Central America. I think it's uh, safe to say that these Colombians have Stealth 100, as I'm literally passing other British boats and haven't been blown out the water. Oh, we made it to Finland. Somehow. And... Mexico just called in Venezuela and Peru to the war. I am... I am gonna blow everything up. I mean, they're all just dying for supply, but, um, I'm dying of brain discomfort. Come on, <laughs> we can win this, America! Yeah, maybe not. Why did you survive? If you died, I would have died too and be free! Uh, I can't push with the Colombians into the Soviets. They're too big. It's 1947. It's been hours in this one game and the AI is too powerful. We did kick them out of South America though. It was pretty easy considering they just death stacked all their troops over there and died of supply issues. So that was fun. I suppose, but I think I'm done. It's alright, if you want to see more of this, there's like more Central American nations to come. That, that'll be fun. Real fun. I'm not even going to do an outro. I'm just going to wear four right here. That's it. That's the end. Go home. All of you, that's it. Do your homework.